Hey, Karen Gillia here, and in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to connect Google Search Console to your Show It website. So it's really important that before you start doing this, you make sure that you've got Google Analytics all set up. And if we just go to site settings here and go to third party, you'll see we've got our Google Analytics tracking ID um, in there already. So you want to make sure that once that is in there, that you've saved and published your site so that that code is live on the outside of your site. So that part is really important. And it's worth just giving that sort of five, 10 minutes before you move on to set up Google Search Console. So to set up Google Search Console, there's a couple of different ways, depending on not whether you've already got a kind of Google Search Console account. And I'm going to show you both ways. So you can just go to Google, type in Google Search Console, click this link here. And when you click that link, you'll see a screen like this. There's a couple of options here and we're going to choose the one on the right. It's really important that you choose that one. The one on the left, it is better to um, set up tracking at all of the, the URLs. But to set up the one on the left, you would need to add a text file to the DNS of your domain name. And that's going to really vary a little bit depending on where your domain name um, or what domain registrar you use. So it's better to use the tutorials within the kind of domain registrar. So I'm not really going to be diving into that in this tutorial, but the one in the right is okay to ensure that you're tracking all the information. Um, I think it's still worth doing the one on the left, but we're going to, we're going to stick with this just now. So I'm going to be adding my um, property to an existing account. So it's a little bit of a different process. So if you were using this process, you'll actually just paste in your domain name. And it's really important that you put the full thing in. So you want to put it in exactly as it's shown in the browser. If you put in the wrong version, then it's not going to be tra tracking the traffic properly. And it'll look as if you've got no traffic when you, you know, hopefully you do. Um, we're going to take that out though, because I'm not going to set this up at this account. I'm going to head over to my existing photo SEO lab account. And if you've got an existing account already set up, then you can just add it as a property. You don't need to set up everything from scratch unless you want to set it up under a se separate email. So if you click this drop down menu, you'll see um, the option at the bottom of the pop up to add property. So I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. Okay, so you see the exact same pop up if you were as if you were doing it the other way. So it's, you get to the same same part really. So we're just going to paste in our website address and click continue. And there's quite a few options that are going to pop up in terms of um, options to verify it. But hopefully, all going well, you should just get this ownership auto verified um, through Google Analytics. And this is why it's better to just leave it five or 10 minutes. Um, once all that setup is kind of propagated and everything, then I find that it usually just automatically verifies if it doesn't automatically verify, you'll get a selection of different ways to verify it. And you should always choose the Google Analytics option. And with that, it's literally a case of selecting Google Analytics and then just click and verify. If it doesn't work, give it another 10 minutes. If it still doesn't work, you might want to check that the Google Analytics code is actually shown on the outside of your website. Um, and let me just show you how to do that, just in case you need to do it. Uh, so if we um, just have a look at the website here. So say you wanted to check whether the Google Analytics code was shown up or not. In the Chrome browser, we can just click on view and then developer and then view source. And then if you type in command F and type in analytics, you'll see it shows up down here and we've got our analytics code. So if for any reason it doesn't show on there and you've definitely clicked save and you've definitely clicked publish, then just um, jump onto chat within the show it, within the back end of show it and let tech support know and they should be able to just clear the cache server side and that should solve it. So if for any reason anything doesn't work, this is the way to check. And then within your show it website, I'm sure you're aware, you can just click get help and um, ask tech support and they'll be able to help you resolve it. I don't see very many issues with that, but I've seen the occasional thing happen where 
the code is just not published on the site. Um, so now that we've set Google Search Console up, if we just head back there, we want to click go to property. It's normal that there wouldn't be any data in here. Um, it's going to take two or three days to start collecting data. So it's just a case of being a little bit patient and um, don't worry that um, if not all of the pages show up right away, it can take a, a little bit of time to um, actually get your site crawled. What can be super helpful though is to be able to submit a sitemap. So we're going to deal with that in a separate tutorial. Uh, sitemaps are over here. So the next tutorial to check out after this would be how to submit a sitemap. Hope this has been useful. Feel free to shoot me an email if you've got any questions and I'll see you in the next tutorial.